This is the FSUSD Family Tutorial for Sora, which is for books and reading. What is Sora? It is free digital library books. This is an app for 24-7 access to ebooks and audiobooks grades PK through 12th grade. So this is the page where I'll have all the video tutorials on the slideshow. Now, getting started, your child has an FSUSD login and password. This will be used for all school online activities. For example, an FSUSD login is a S plus your student ID number. So it's S123456 at FSUSD.org. The password is an eight digit representation of your birthday. So two days for the month, two days for the year, uh, the day, and then four days for the year. So to get started, you're going to start with Clever, which is where all online FSUSD student materials are going to launch. If you're on your Chromebook, you're going to just log in using your FSUSD login. It will take you to Clever. Or if you're using a personal device in the search box, type in FSUSD Clever. It will then take you to Clever and you can use your FSUSD login. So you can use Sora on all your devices. You're not limited to uh, your Chromebook. You can use it on your cell phone and your tablet. You can go to Google Play or the Apple Store and download the Sora app. And you can also just navigate to it on your laptop or Chromebook. It's soraapp.com. Notice there's two A's there. So once you are got the app, you click on the Sora icon. And now, when the first time you get in, you're going to have to connect to FSUSD. So you're going to click the Find My School button. Now you want to type in your zip code or your Fairfield Sassoon um, into Find Your School. You do not use your school site. So um, Rolling Hills Elementary or Rodriguez High School isn't going to work. You have to put in your zip code or the words Fairfield Sassoon. Then you will click the green button. This is my school for Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. At this point, you will have the opportunity to log in to the Fairfield uh, to Sora using your FSUSD login that we just talked about. The great thing about that is you won't have to do it more than once. You can just stay logged in. So now you're in Sora, and this is the Explore page. And you can see I just have lots of different books here available to be checked out. So let's talk about navigation. At the bottom of the screen are the buttons for navigation. And there is the home button, which is assign books, which you probably won't use very often. The explore page that we just looked at. The shelf, which is all the books you have checked out. And then the me page, which is in the picture here, which is your personalization. Uh, it shows all your statistics. It has your name. You can change the icon. It is also going to show all of your badges. So this is a fun page to visit. So this is a good time to take a moment and talk about the student access card. This is a program and agreement between the school library and the public library that lets you use your student ID number to access public library materials. And that also applies to Sora. So you can use Sora, which magnifies the number of materials that you have available for you to check out. It also, don't worry about um, overdue fines or no overdue fines associated with the student access card. Um, through this program, you can also access free homework tutoring in English and Spanish. And there's a lot of other uh, digital materials as well as physical materials that you can access, um, including movies and cartoons and all that kind of thing. So if you want more information about that, you can reach out to your school librarian um, or to the public library. And we'd be happy to answer any questions you have about accessing public library materials using your student access card. So now we're going to connect Sora to the Solano County Library. So at the very top of the Explore page, you're going to click the tab at the top center of the screen that says Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. You're going to get a drop down menu and you're going to click the green Add a Public Library. You will type in NorthNet. NorthNet is the name of the Solano County Library System. 
Um, and this is how you, this is the name of our system. So don't put in Solano, don't put in Fairfield, type in NorthNet and then click the green, this is my library. So now you're connected to both Fairfield Sassoon and Solano County Library. So whenever you search for a book, you're gonna get two sets of search results, um, which um, again is going to increase the number of options you have. So you can scroll through the books or you can use the search box. If you use the search box, uh, notice right here I have romance typed in. You want to make sure you click the box that says search all of my libraries. So that's going to search in both sets of libraries. So here is an example search result page and you can simply click on the cover of a book to learn more about it. So um, once you have that open for Out of the Darkness, I have um, the name of the author, I have the reading level, I have a summary of the book. So now if I choose to borrow it, the blue borrow button is right under the cover of the book. And now that's all I have to do to check it out because I'm already signed in. And this is a little peek of what the inside of an ebook looks like. It's very readable and you have lots of different options to change it out, um, to change it up and personalize uh, what it looks like. And then once you're finished with the book, then all books are automatically returned at the end of the borrowing period. You don't have to do anything. But if you want to manually return the book, you can go to the shelf page and then under the options, it's going to give you the option to return the book. All right, I hope this is a great introduction to Sora and how you can get started. If you have any questions, please email askalibrarian at fsusd.org and we're gonna have this and other tutorials available at fsusd.org. Thank you.